and see what FaZe can do. He got the CT side right away. So, so curious to take a look and update ourselves on these spots to see where FaZe are placing in Olaf and how comfortable he looks on this map. I see him immediately heading out towards ramp. Okay. Understandably. We'll see whether he stays there for eternity. Kierby with the kickoff. Rain. Well, there's a player just flying past him. Difficult kill to get. At a 4v3 nonetheless. However, bomb plant on that A site. Easy. Wrap around from Trophy. Kierby with another kill to the feed. Leaves a 1v4 situation for Keto. Now, what the hell is he supposed to do about this? Coldzera running inwards. Gonna get popped. And a second shot into the face. A third. Get the third. Now he's got to get back behind the door. He's jumping. It's desperate. I don't know what it is. But it's a pistol round win regardless. Phase are going to take it. Make that doorway bigger. Oh. The movement. The door. It didn't open fast enough. Door stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. <laughs> he could have get out of there. Oh, it was so close. I love how I love how it went from like the cleanest first possible one tap yeah. into like a messier second into an awkward third and, and the then the desperation, is right? You just you you feel him like teetering. It's almost like a <laughs> It's like a Looney Tunes moment, you know, he's standing on the edge. He's 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 fallen 80% of the way. He's still waving back and forth. And then he plummets to his death in the end. So luckily for FaZe, that's not where they had guns. It's not really any kind of a cost against them. It's just uh All right. Well, welcome to this episode of Who's Got the Better Buy. Tease will grab an AK, Galil, <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Second round buys are nuts, man. Uh without a bomb plant. Do you like game oh, shows? Oh, sorry. Uh, the bomb was down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. What's that? I said, do you like game shows where economies make no sense? <laughs> Come on over to Valorant. <laughs> Counter-Strike even. Frag grenade on the head of Tizian. So unfortunately for Big, they have not yet found any opening. That AUG outside with Brokey by its side was good enough to start. Galil and an AK. Coldzera just gets back into cover as the Deagle sounds off. And Brokey, man, he's helping everyone everywhere. Bomb's been thrown out into the open. Keto's position known. Executed from the top of the ramp. That's FaZe with the 2-0 start. Mm -hmm. Nice and clean. And yeah, they had an expensive buy. No, no SMG uh, concessions. So they had to get the kills, and they couldn't afford to lose any players. It would have just been an expensive round overall. And they do a good job of that. Three kills on Keto off the pistol round. One on Tizian, also on that pistol round, I believe. And uh, everyone keeps most of their grenades as well. So they'll have another farm up around here. And the CTs can really get on their feet. Get on up. And get on down. Frag grenades. Blowing Keto away. Og. Easy pickup versus a peak like that one. However, Tabson, ooh, frag grenade damage to follow suit, but Brokey. Great HEs. Everywhere. Great. Brokey's everywhere. I'm happy that FaZe get to start off on the CT side. Okay. That to me was... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. More <laughs> of that. <laughs> as much as that, as much of that as possible, please. That was a great shot. No range. Can we replay that one? Off the heavens. Blau. Shamon. Okay, we have to settle down now because there's guns, and suddenly things could take a turn for the worst. Yeah. We're only drinking water, right? Working on it. <laughs> Full util kits. This T round. Pretty quiet. Well, actually, the push is from the CT. He's actually getting way aggressive outside with Kirby, weaponizing him, having him run out for the opening kill. It was off. I think a flash player. It might have been also just Searson tucked into the, trying to watch the, the push on the right side of the smoke. Again, the smoke we see everyone throw. Sometimes people are hanging on the right side of it now. Sometimes the push is coming in. The CT push is becoming very common, but the reason it's hard to stop is because there's a couple of ways that you can push around it. And CTs are more happy these days to go for a kill and get traded um, than they have been in the past. Like right now, Big uh, FaZe got some good info that Big Clan were going to set up for a, something outside, whether it's cross smokes or otherwise. And 
That's a that's a mental advantage there. The mini wrap could be fruitful. Rain's gonna have a player behind him in just a moment, but it's actually Zantara's to best him. Tabson denying Brokey outside. Olaf has an angle, but Tizian, great headshot. And he's even gonna start wrapping back to watch the flank. Sure enough, Cold Zera already in position. Now down to the one versus two. Bomb planted on the mini side of sight. Santeres cautious of the hut exit. It's a known position. If Cold Zera were to just go for the wall bang, maybe he could line it up, but obviously that would be ambitious. Oh, huh, interesting. AK there to save, save if he wants to. I think he's just going to grab it and go. Yeah, oh, yeah, call it quits. Understandably. Face Clan had a chance on that hold, but uh, I would say the player in the bomb site going down for free, and then also Olaf getting wrecked by that Tizian peak. I yeah. mean, uh, he had the angle held, he anticipated the shot, but just instantaneous frag the other direction. So welcome to the board, yeah. Big Clan. That's nice. I mean, again, it's a four on four situation. They continue on with a walk outside. You know, maybe FaZe try to get in their head a bit. Like, hey, we, we just called you out going outside. Maybe you won't commit, commit, but then they do. They just do it incognito. All right, control shift N. Yep. Walk up to the side of Mini. Headshot, headshot. Ends up working out well. All right, let's see if they, uh, let, let's see if FaZe implore any more aggressive option on this round or how they approach it. Uh, it Looks like Kirby is going to go secret off of this push. Maybe hang on the vent. We'll see. Control stairs is his position right now. Yeah, he might be pushing up with the AUG, so he'll he'll weaponize himself again. I love how they're using Kirby right now. Will he get the contact? Will he get the better of the timing? Oh, where is that? That looks like a deep lobby frag, perhaps? They see this cross. Kirby oh. on high alert. Ooh, nice movement. Rain's able to get back into position. Oh, snappy headshot. He knows there's more players here. Metal and flames flying by, frags and fire all around them. And Olaf, he is the insurance policy in case they think they can eject up vents. Brokey honed in on doorway. That was a real perfect movement from Rain. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Oh, um, Brokey knows he's right side here. Rain's going to walk back into it. There's that anticipated frag. That's the opera dead to rights. So FaZe with a fourth round already. That was sick. Four survivors yeah. with the guns. Perfect. They had two out to the ramps. I don't know if one, someone was watching, watching Brokey's back, but he has an angle. Like, how are you supposed to do anything about that? He's sitting in the middle of B bomb site with an off out. He's going to get a kill. And yeah, again, Kirby's information is everything. They can continue on once again after getting the kill, but traded out with some damage. Sprinkled in on top. And then they get downstairs, you know, Rain's in position because that kill came out nice and early. Olaf's down there. Real sick stuff. Um, I think the reason that this map would be harder for FaZe compared to Mirage is because it stresses the CD communication unlike any other map with the verticality of the vent. Sure. I mean, even DJ gets stressed out observing this map. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he came back here after Mirage and was sweating bullets. Yeah, and now we're on Nuke. It's getting crazy. You gotta, there's layers There's layers to this map, and that's what makes it hard. So I think Big need to put as much emphasis on that as possible, right? We need to see as much uh, squeaky presence as possible. We need to see as much outside control as possible. And we need to see as many, of course, opening kills to make sure the communication is as stressed as possible because I think that's their you know, main key to victory. Whoa. Oh, it's such a slight gap, but I don't think he sees anything for it. I love this. The conga line through the smoke grenades. I mean, called out by the frag. That right there indicates, of course, that they're wary of it. And Kierby gets out of garage as three players take his position, but he's got to be careful. Yeah. yeah small, small risk exposing himself to credit card, and you see he's very uncomfortable, but he does have the right idea. Like, yep. he can actually stand here. Yep. Yeah, I don't think he's going to fall for it. He knows how patient Big are. Mm -hmm. No sight on cross. No contact down B. He's going to start clearing this all up. Excellent 3K from Kierby. Really good idea from Big. You know, if Kierby decides not to switch out to credit card, but rather go tuck in the back of Garage, then that could have been an easy three versus one to Big's favor. They grab the gun off of him. They find an opening elsewhere, as Zanteres has just done. And uh, there's at least some sort of a cost versus phase in this sixth round. But that is not the case. That is not the world we live in.
This world features Xantara's 1v4 op in hand. 25 seconds. That's not too long to save. Everybody else would buy up around him. He'd sit pretty on 18. Just make sure you don't die after time if you think about saving this. Well, the strong showing already, and it's it's not luck. No. We're seeing some good stuff work. I'm loving how Kirby um, has been playing these rounds so far. Again, very proactive. You know, really showing your star player uh -oh. potential. Ouch. Yeah, really showing a star player potential. Um, some good rotations to lower. Some like, yeah, good responses. Everything seems very good so far. And they're keeping it nice and simple. And I, I really think, you know, Big needs to threaten more vent dives here and and see if they can exploit something in that regard. We are on a better round here for, for Big Clan. So, mind you, they, you know, it's a pistol plus a a couple of anti ecos One rifle round, really, that they've won over over Big and one traded back. Yeah. But this will be, this will be another foundational round to their CT side. Santeris only on a P250 somehow. Uh, died at the end of the last round, so no no bonus. Oh, right. What am, yeah. I, yeah, what am I talking about? So, I, mean, the, I mean, the two, obviously the two, the two takeaways from that is Searson has to buy his own, no utility. Yeah. And then Santeris is relegated to the P250, so. Oh, that's awkward. Rain, good for the double spray. Keto trades, and Olaf remains sitting pretty up above. Two players out from Squeaky. I love this proactive movement coming out of Kierby. However, Olaf kind of drops the shot somewhat here. He will die out to Keto. That's the chance back for Big. But again, we still have Kierby working his way through Lobby. And as he has that flank already, the Ramp Man doesn't have to go for it himself. That's going to allow double peaks coming in from Heaven. Oh. Kierby serving as an anchor. Now, if he hears Searson... Oh, this is awkward because Searson... Yeah, he hears him. Oh. Easy pickup. Searson scope towards Trophy. Because Kierby flanks that way, again, the Trophy man never comes into the play. But Keto's coming back. He's hunting Kierby, who only has to buy time at this point. Xanteres, one versus three. Gets that instant headshot. Actually costs him half his health. Coldzera on the rafters. And that's all they need. Phase with a six. Real beautiful moves from Kierby that round. I mean, first of all, he comes for the big flank. Another round full of proactivity from him. Yeah. And then when he comes in on the big flank, Flank. You know, some people are drooling on the big flank in that position. They're like, I'm running through Squeaky and getting all of these, you know, retake kills before the bomb gets planted. No, Kirby stands there and waits for them to come into the best retake positions mm -hmm. and then finds an opening to move after that. Like, really good bit of discipline and aim, of course, when he gets the second kill on top of it. And of course, Rain picks this great timing to peek out when they're running out of the choke point. And as we can see, I mean, the site's not really swarmed in flashes. They were re relying heavily on getting those opening entries. And, you know, Rain in his position should be a little bit more blind than that, I think. Oh my god. That was a pensive thinking man right there. I mean, I can only imagine the amount of strats going through his mind. Five round lead on the CT side of their opponent's map choice. Not the FaZe Clan. I think many of us expected to see tonight, but definitely the FaZe Clan that a lot of us are happy showed up. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants a fizzled out series. How about a clash? A fast smack in the face versus rain. Down goes Olaf as well. You talked about weaponizing that vent aggression, weaponizing a little bit of pace change on the A site, and there you have it, Launders, just as you asked. An eighth round that Big finally decide to just crank the dial. Yeah, and do, it works. Yeah, do like that. Tapson's willing to call the same strat again, kind of, as long as he can identify you know, what went wrong, try it again, and everyone trusts him. They go for it. I don't know if the flashes worked better this time around. Saw a flash assist, but it looked like it was only on Big, not even on their opponent. So we'll see if that's actually a thing. But the, what's important, I think, for Big is just winning this round with some money left over. You know, Deagle to Searson's name on this one. Oh, Brokies. Ooh, dodges the flag. Come on now. Oh, baby. Collateral. That's going to keep one AK out of the hands of Big. And a pistol player popped as well. That's really expensive double, considering what we, you know, Big's just gone through. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, Searson's very expensive. He's coming with a price tag this game for somebody who's 0 and 8. Yikes. At least Big will have their second round. Boom. Like bowling pins. But with bullets. <laughs> with bullets and humans. Okay, lined it up. 
All right, let's see what they try again. Searson, he's got that. He's got that off, but, and he loses the duel. Brokey a bit too quick on Mouse 1 today. Tizian will drop a smoke out of Squeaky. They're continuing to apply pressure here, which is great, but that opening kill percentage swinging back into the favor of FaZe Clan. Taps it in the smoke, though. Very cool. Oh, Rain is going to... Oh, he has to molly this cool. Oh, he didn't, he didn't. He didn't throw it. We've all been there. I... Now what? That... Oh my god, that actually changes everything. Mm. Olaf's still comfortably up in heaven. Kierby will find his fight outside, so Tabson's taken out of Mini. Bomb planted on the short side of Silo. They're cautious about this flank. They don't want to lose out to Kierby, but Kierby's actually the second player on flank. Santeras, nice off angle. He's actually trying to take the challenge. Gets the headshot. Ooh, great spray control. Uh huh. Now maybe Olaf can draw attention back towards heaven. Kierby swings for the fences. No, they're not going to swing at all. They're going to concede it. They're going to save their weaponry. The double aug called off. And oh wait, Olaf with a parting gift. But still, regardless, that's a third round for Big's T side. Yeah. I want to, I'm sympathetic to Rain because, he, of course, he pulls out the smoke calmly to toss it down. And he, and he would have been down to like 20 HP. Everyone's been in that situation. If you get flashed at Vent and then mollied, you're down to you're down to 20 HP, whether you smoke, throw the smoke or not. Of course, he tries to throw it, switches his gun, gets mollied and died. Yeah. Now, it would have slowed down the execute a tad bit, but I still think he was a dead man walking. Sure. And I want to just credit Big for identifying he was in that spot. They completely, you know, they earned they earned that kill, I think, one way or another. It would have been a couple of, you know, shots through the vent and he would have died after they saw that smoke come out. So, we'll see. Want to say they would have won, won no matter what, but now we'll get another chance to see if, you know, FaZe really Dude, saw some luck there. This is big. I mean, this fight right here between the Oppers, Searson, still zero kills. Zero and nine. Contrast that to Brokey, who's the second best player for FaZe at the moment. And he's going to walk right into it. There it is. Searson on the board. That's besting his counterpart. Yeah. So this is where, you know, this is where communication starts to get scary for FaZe. It'll be a, a much more of a test for them. Do they have a root? Man, they, ha they have Cold Zero and Lower the Falmus, but he's alone. Yep. Not the most comfortable of spots. Meanwhile. Oh, my God. Tabson oh. looking for a head. And Rain's going to give it to him. Now, Tabson knows there's another back in Garage. He calls it out, and Searson body bags it. Five versus two. Looking like Big are going to take control of the game. Yeah, especially if they can get so many players alive. coldzera has been sat down here on this B site, waiting for his chance to strike. But no one wanted to rumble. Yeah, I thought he was the next guy to have to take a duel, but he'll he'll just have, he'll just be able to fall back and and save this Falmus. And they're they're coming for him though. They kind of know exactly where he went off to. And as a yeah, third round in a row, fourth in total for the big clan. A nice convincing round after fall after getting the opening kill. It was just a bit more patience for Searson yeah. than Brokey had, right? I mean that's all it comes down to. And I think that's actually the great move to make when you are 0 and 9. Be extra patient. Right. You know, it's like, it's it's when you... Don't get timing as well. Yeah. 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 You realize you just got to sit back on your haunches. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, a little, little B or C game, yeah. as the leagues like to talk about. Uh, if you're not you're not feeling too hot. It's like your score can't get any worse if you just make sure you don't die. True. I can lose by moving from this angle, but I can't lose yeah. if they peek me. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. It's math. Mathematics. We've seen Big's schematics piecing together the architecture of a T side here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Beagle from Rain, dead. And picked up by Brokey. A little troll gets his hands on the Desert Eagle and just runs away with it. Makes some kind of snarling sound on his retreat. They're doing great when they get that opening kill and outside control. They're being very confusing right now. This is kind of what, you know, we're looking for. Poor Olaf by the vent. Low info here for the CTs, despite having this push going on. And I'm sure it's, you know, it's not set in stone where Big want to go. However, now they're, they're starting to approach Mini and this heaven wrap. More than enough time. Despite the CTs all being here, 
Such great spots to attack from. However, a fantastic shot from Cold Zera. Yeah, drops bomb with 25. Ooh, seconds. Oh. Cold Zera looking like he's going to have to do it all. Bombs dropped over. And they know. Brokey knows that the other player had to cross. 20 seconds. Keto, he's got the AK. He's got the Kevlar. But now Brokey's got his paws on an op. And Cold Zera's got the patience. Double flashbang. Where are they? Keto's trying to take the challenge down to 14 HP and the slide out from Cold Zera. A trio of frags from him. And Brokey with that one kill, cutting off the second T, removing any assistance from the bomb planter, mm. gives FaZe their seventh round. Yeah, they're pushing the lobby. I thought they I thought big refine, because this with this A attack, it was all well coordinated. They had Santeris Heaven, Couple, and Mini ready to approach at the exact same time. But Col Coldzera hits this opening, you know, shot on oh, Santeris. And, oh, man, it, yeah, he has some damage as well. Jesus. What are you supposed to do about that? That's some sick stuff. Get better. And, yeah, I mean, that's, of course, why teams are, are, are pushing into the lobby so that you can sit in those angles when outside control gets taken. But still, got sure. some crazy oh, oh. heroics there from Coldzera. Ah, oh, looked to me like Big were uh, gearing up for a faster hit. But uh, they actually just go for the wall bangs into the A site. Nets them zero damage. Rain will get eventually tagged, but uh, nothing to really write home about until that happens. Tizian through the smoke removes Rain. Kirby credit card, but this opens up the mini. Tabson still lingering within it. Olaf down to 9 HP, and they know exactly where he's at. Frag grenades, fantastic, and the headshot from Tizian. A four versus two to Big Clan's favor. A fifth round on their T side looks inevitable. And with the money busted from FaZe, these two players on a save could actually net them a decent buy, especially the double sniper. I'd love to, since we're at this point of the game, I'd like to just, you know, go ahead and look at some of the stats, some of the big performers who's, who's doing well. I, I, I'm seeing Rain, Rain be a real nemesis for them here on the A site. And of course, when he dies, it, it's quite an easy round to take upstairs because he's been so good in front of Squeaky, yeah. finding the spray down um, and getting opening duels. But the couple times he's died, it's just opened the floodgates to these upstairs hits. And yeah, yeah, Kirby was playing well in some of these early rounds. Um, Broki's got a couple of off duels over Searson, I think, at this point. Searson trying to wake up. Still 23 ADR for him. Call ADR. So two kills. Three, oh, it's three kills. Door swings wide. Flash in the face of Searson. Doesn't do anything. It's really this lobby crunch from cold and rain with the Desert Eagle into the head of Tizian. Do you even know he has a gun? I don't think he anticipates the second player still from spawn. And Searson not going to let him keep it going. All right. Another one from Big Clan, as expected. But props mm. to FaZe, man. Again, trying to... Uh, Trying to, as you would say, squeeze water from stone. That is like one of my favorite things to say. Uh, it's a very, it's a very nice piece of imagery. Right. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he looked like he was really gonna drop a tear there. Yeah. Looked very sad about that. It's a good try overall. Okay. F4 goes right into the hands of Kirby. Look at that. Yeah. Stop crying. Here, you can have it. Can I have the arm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> F4. Oh no, if he wasn't crying already, that's a good reason for it. Instantly killed. This is a fast clash, and understandably. I mean, Big Clan, they smell blood in the water and cold on the barbecue. Gruesome. I've had to earn every step. It's been a great game. Great game so far. Yep. Both maps, all sides. Damn, Tabson. OT on the first one. We see OT again. That's the question. We'll round this half off with a lot more attention towards Squeaky in to the tail end of the half, working well for big. Yep. Lots more pressure, opening kills, you know, tumbling, spiraling out of control for FaZe Clan. And some really great rounds outside where they wrap around outside, take a lot of control. Looking very confident now and looking to take a numerical lead in the half for what it's worth. Again, I think some of these faster rounds from Big have been really good at kind of squandering the comfort and the communication of phase. Just water crashing on the shore. 
Speaking of water. Yeah, rain opens. Brokey closes onto Tabson. 5v3 for phase. I mean, somebody has to take the round advantage, and it's looking like the CT side. They are all down on this B site, Big Clan. Searson's finally able to answer back, but he's going to have to do everything. And he has managed to pin a second player down. He's got 100 HP. He's on for the ace. Ooh, Cold Zera going to fire at him through the floorboards, leaves him with 4 HP, and that's not nearly enough. FaZe Clan, eight rounds on their CT side. A fresh roster to the offense of Nuke. Can they push through, or do Big pick up the series? Join us after the break. Um, on the big side, it was really, it felt like an IGL battle, figuring out what the correct strategy was. They clawed Agreed. tooth and nail to get back into it, to figure out what was going to work the best. They settled on a lot more squeaky control and a lot more outside presence, and it worked out really well. And in this half, it's T side, it's up in the air. Let's see how where Olaf plays, how he plays, how, how comfortable he looks. Rain's going to be the one to swing the door, or is it Olaf? Bodies stacked up by FaZe. Utility comes out. I mean, there's a player ready for this one. Taps in, he's gonna get himself into the corner. Oh, he gets both those headshots and he wants more. Four bullets left in the magazine, and down he goes. A response from FaZe Clan. Uh -oh. But still a man advantage up for Big, and Searson's on the latter of all things. Keto pinned into the vent, now going to be challenged by two, but we also see Big taking control of Kevin. Searson's position now known, bomb being planted, or at least faked once, and now Kier B commits to it on the front of the silos. Two members of Big above them. Just swooping death downwards is Tizian. Searson going to get gushed, but still able to close. That is Big to tie at eight. That's a revolutionary smoke. You know, we see, see more teams throw this that to allow them to get out of uh, heaven a bit more easily. The paint, paint can smoke gets out of heaven. Yeah. So strong. I mean, retakes out of outside from, from heaven just look so inconsistent before. Now it just adds such an advantage for the CT side. Really nicely done. An amazing shot. I mean, you know, Olaf comes out for the refract, dies in the middle of the air. They have no chance. Taps in. Laser focused. Laser focused. So what could be a critical pistol round to complement what should be a fantastic CT side. Let's see if Big can start off this half hot. They've got FaZe coming in with, an, with a buy for themselves. But there's no AKs involved. There's just two Galils. A lot of utility here. What's the idea? Creep and crawl. That's five players moving down to secret. Any info on the cross? No. No rotations? Okay, Tabson. Let's see what he can do. He's got that M4 and a second in position. Good crossfire, good damage output, but not nearly enough. We get that utility being volleyed the base of the ramp. Now what gets awkward is the fact that you've got the double MP9 and a Fomus on the retake. Two smoke grenades up here. Yeesh, not ideal. Are they calling a save? Uh, it looks like it. Yep, they, that's I mean, they, all she wrote. They gave up an M4 in the sight, their best gun on the round. You know, these T-Buys are already scary, but with uh, that M4 changing hands and the man advantage, yeah, they're just going to try to get some damage off next round, maybe not even buy up in response. Phase putting this together off of a force. Two M4s. I mean, they do their part. They cross outside, they get down lower, they get to the door, they open the door, the door's open for them. They, they kill the people in the site, they put the bomb down. Super simple round for FaZe, but for Big, you know, no information whatsoever. A lot of emphasis on Tabson. You could say the ramp guy gets timinged, but it's hard to always call it a timing when you don't have info, right? If you don't have info, maybe you deserve to get timing. So the ramp guy tries to rotate in. They're a little bit suspicious, but there's nothing concrete. And, um, you know, a good round from FaZe from that perspective. Simplistic, simplistic but it works the buyback, spending 3.7 thousand across the team. Searson with a bit of extra cash, but let's see if Big can uh, rob one back. Smoke grenades yet again outside. I mean, my big question will be like, how deep is the playbook with FaZe? You know, Olaf hot off the press. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure they'll, they'll probably want to try to keep it uh, yeah. real simple. 
This one's already a variation of what we saw. We get that deeper wall of smokes. Olas very much being left to his own devices, and Tabson slices Cold Zera's head off. Santeres, close smoke. See, that info is huge, right? He dies, but now Santeres drops the smoke and lower. They got one rotation down here. It's up to phase if they want to reassess yeah. and go back upstairs. And that's like exactly that. what happens. Yeah. So just just goes to show you what a little bit of info and a little bit of utility can get you. How about the scout of Searson, though? Uncharacteristically missing some shots. They're peppering his windowsill. Oh, and he's going to start peppering them back. Got to be cautious. Doesn't want to get overrun. Oh my God. Desperate no scope, ready for the X one, but Kierby's going to get the better of it. Meanwhile, Big Clan starting to get aggressive inside of the lobby. However, FaZe will redirect downstairs. Tizian and Zantara's in position. They try to challenge with the doors swung wide, but Olaf catching the headshot immediately. MP9 at this distance shouldn't do too much. Playing with his nades is Zantara's, and he goes down. Keto v3. Swinging it open. Oh, he could get the second, and he denies the bomb plant. Ten seconds left over. keto has got the MP9. Brokey needs the bomb. He's just going to have to go for the plant, committing to the back of the site. This is a chance for keto to exit, but if he doesn't move, then suddenly the question in the back of Brokey's mind is, does he wrap the decon? keto walks out, and Brokey sends him packing. A tenth round for FaZe. Well, big Daddy Brokey's got it locked down. He's chilling. Everyone dies. Fine. He's comfortable in 1v1, grabs a bomb. Puts it down in a safe position. No time for Keto to get all the way around. So, you know, just goes for a normal plant here. Love that from him. He really pressured Keto to mate to doing that thing, right? Running through the site, trying to stop the plant. But Brokey's in a spot where he can actually get off the plant safely. So, nice, nice moves by him. And, uh, yeah, big. It comes close. It gets hairy, but they're back to pistols. Two rounds of difference. T's crossing outside in a couple. A couple of T's are late years. The smoke start to plume. Pistol shots go in. They're going to get some... Yeah, they have an idea of what's going on, but uh, phase clan are spread out still. They're, yeah, they're actually trying to encourage this lobby push. <laughs> Olaf's on the roof. That is rude. And so is Brokey. His 17th kill added to the tally. Ooh, free P250. Why not? Rain with a headshot. I like this. The default couldn't have worked out better. Yeah, flawless round, basically. Assuming Brokey closes, and of course he does. His third kill on the round, and phases 11th to the board. I do like the two pairs of footsteps outside running with the smokes to really make it seem like it's a rush downstairs. As the smokes plume as well, so... Yeah, they're, yeah, may definitely making it look like some kind of strat waiting for those flanks to come in. A good round. Big Clan will have to come back from this. The rifle buy is here. I don't know if this is an economic discussion. Maybe a little bit of a stress pause. A reset as we come into this. Searson's not... Searson's really gotten some kills since he had a poor start to the half, but a lot of rounds have already been lost to his name for what we expect from Searson. So this will be a big round from him, I think, for his own confidence to find his place in this match. All right, swing potential here for FaZe. They win this one? Damn, could even be a blowout. Guess that's what it looks like. Never gonna be easy, but Rain will post up early. Hmm. Ooh, that's an a... easy lineup here for Tabson. Tries to continue the spray, but that's what actually costs him there. A bit of an overcommitment, perhaps. Keto, close smoke. Santeres, exact same position, basically, okay. but they're going to circumvent the threat by heading downstairs, and there's no rotate in position other than Searson on the op. We wanted to see him deliver. Now's his chance. Three players on the other side, and he drops no success. That's an instant save. That's, I mean, is it not? Know. They should be saving, I think. Like, they're, they're coming in for the retake here. Uh, people are getting in position. The bomb's planted. Maybe they're hoping it wouldn't go down so fast, but yeah, they got to... Now you're out. I think you call it, man. They got to get out of there and save their guns, right? Don't just, like, half commit and stick around and see what happens and try to get a kill, because Zantaris getting a kill is worth uh, less than Zantaris simply staying alive in Tizian. Looks like his days might be numbered as well. So he gets t spotted in the big garage, and they 
as in FaZe Clan, are going to want to hunt. Holds off just the first. Yeah. That was the reason they did that, of course, is because Tabson is their lower player. So as soon as he died outside, they just rushed it. They're like, we're not even going to overthink this. We're going to go put pressure downstairs. And Searson, he's not been on point, drops a shot trying to hold. And it's an opera downstairs, so he doesn't have tons of like multi-kill potential um, in the same way like a rifle on control stairs could do with some utility to work with. He's got to take a, an angle, fall back, really, and hope his, his ro rotators can do a lot of the work. But FaZe, they make a smart move. They just go quick. Had a chance on that one, too, right? Searson got the bullet off, but Coldzera just rails him to the side of control. He didn't tag him, though, did he? No, not no, even. He, he just didn't. missed. Yeah. Him. No. Wasn't like he got robbed or anything like that. Yeah. Robbed himself. Robbed himself. Now suddenly we're looking at a, a very likely, very likely 13-8 lead. Mm -hmm. Everything other than the very first round of this second half has been FaZe's name all over it. And at times not even looking close. When we think back to uh, you know, Mir Mirage's OT, that's yeah, good. Kind of I mean, th there's this could be the 2-0, assuming FaZe continue to close. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah, it was kind of a lead on Mirage as well, and then, you know. Fizzled out. It, well, big, yeah, I mean, big climb back. I think yeah. more than anything, they you know, they, they definitely climbed back into it. They woke up a, a lot. Same thing happened, with, they had slow starts in these abs. Yep. Uh, T-side only started to look good in the last, like, seven or eight, eight, eight rounds for big, so. We'll see what some adjustments come of it. I think. Yeah, it was a 6-1 lead for FaZe. Yeah, Tamsin probably. If he doesn't spot two people there, he doesn't go for the continuation, spray stays alive, then they don't get rushed downstairs and, and things don't get hairy. So yeah. maybe a bit more credence to his spot and just like him staying alive in the round more than anything else. So he'll camp out this time in secret. I like this adjustment. Makes sense. Safer, farther back, and can lock down lower. Where FaZe Clan have not been trying to put a lot of uh, squeaky pressure. But Kirby going for something new. A lurk from him and Hito. Oh, he's opened up. Great moves from Kirby. Perfect. Right through the mini smoke. Tapson's going to put his barrel to the side of the head, but excellently done by Kirby. And I mean, that one comes down to milliseconds and millimeters. You saw the flashbang inside of mini not quite connect. You saw Kido playing around it. You know, if Kido's just a second and that's or two why. too late, right. he's the one who's behind, behind Kirby. Mm-hmm. Uh, not the other way around, but... And that's the idea, right? You know, throw some upper stuff, get his attention. Damn. We are talking 14 rounds to eight. Phaser on fire. It's looking hot. I'm not going to lie. I don't Love know what that. the third map is because I didn't think we were going there. I really didn't either. I'll take a look. Let's let's find out. But at this point, I mean, if they can oh, survive God. nuke, if they can survive nuke, they can survive anything. And this is, they're carrying, they're carrying Olaf through this. This is crazy. This is how well the other four are playing right now. Yeah. How many plays Brokey's making, Kirby's making, Rain upstairs in that first half. I mean, Olaf's not having a great game, which we probably, you know, anticipated. It's not an easy map and whatever, not much practice. Um, but they are seriously making, there's no spotlight on him whatsoever nope. with, the, with what we're looking at. Amazing. Dust two. Oh, Dust 2. So I was trying to read it from the, across the room. The Great Equalizer. Yes. Where all Counter-Strike players are born. Like the Orcs of Mordor. They are pulled out of the ground in Dust 2. Mm -hmm. More dorks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a perfect lurk. Yeah. Just... Yeah, yeah, that's... Didn't waste any extra time, yeah. you know, right with the ex... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's seen some shit! <laughs> I feel like his Every round frozen. we go to him, it looks like his life is a nightmare. Yeah. It's a man whose eyes tell a tale of a thousand gets... wounds, and Tizian, well, he's coming off of the top of the hut. Tabson's got a kill alongside Keto. This fast clash being set by FaZe, not quite sticking the way they'd hope. 
Brogy, hoping he can make something happen, but he gets cleared out by Searson, who doesn't shy away from the gunfight. And with that attempt from FaZe Clan, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Everything had been working up until that point. Mm -hmm. Luckily for them, they have such a lead that there's plenty of time to adapt. Mm -hmm. Back to outside. Yes, sir. We'll see. You know, I think it would be cool. I mean, they had that nice pocket strat with Kirby on the Lurk. Love that. It was kind of like that, you know, like the Blame F Lurk, complexity rounds. Um, but I think there's still ramp to test. I think there's still outside that they can always go back to. Because that's had, they've had pretty good success there. Then some more pressure on the lower side. I mean, I don't think they should, I think they should still consider Squeaky Burst like they just did. Try it again, maybe. <gasps> maybe just not right away. That could hurt. Oh, so close. Considering that's two nades, you know, they could all be down to 50. Listen, all you need is a, you know, 15 damage and your M4 is an AK. That is facts. Simple maths. Santeras. Gonna have to try and hold back three players. Does he stick around? Seems not. And Searson burned off of the angle, gifted a kill by Rain. Yeah, awkward from Rain to run around that side to jump through. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to try and cross the path of Xanteres. Cold Zero with oh the God. instant headshot. Very nicely done. Kierby as well, finding the exact same success, but into the head of Tabson. Man, advantage for phase. 45 seconds with the bomb going down. And Searson starts to sniff out this ramp room, but check out Olaf's spot. Oh, that scope is everything Olaf needed. Now he hears the utility, plays around the corner, gets the job done. It's on Tizian, who's already gotten himself two kills, needs another double. Doors close on his face. And both positions assumed by FaZe would create the crossfire of death. Cold Zera gets the nail in the coffin. At least that 15th added to the board. And now where do big go? They don't have the most comfortable of buys. Yep. Or actually, no, excuse me. Searson drops and Xanteras will be okay. So they're at least firing off on all cylinders, but it is six map points, or else FaZe push this to the third. This is fascinating. I now I just want to see FaZe versus other teams. Historically, FaZe have always done well at last events. Yeah. You know, they've won the most, I think. Uh, well, they got the two series. They had Back in 2019. Miami, as well as... Copenhagen. Copenhagen, yeah. Was it? Yes, I remember oh the line. FaZe Clan ready to win this! <laughs> yes, <I am>. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. Okay, Tabson, opening kill, damage on Kirby. 4v5, they clear out the lobby, they know it's a lower hit. Info here for, for Big Clan, looking great. They're all making moves downstairs. It's gonna be a lower bomb site party. Let's see who gets invited and who gets stopped at the door. So far, everybody in. They don't even know these guys. Oh, the nades are up for the T's. They haven't died coming oh. into the site, so now... <gasps> oh, wow. Zero good stink. Nice stink. But he stays alive. Yeah, Tizzy, that was a nice little flick. Okay, now you need to put the bomb down. Mm -hmm. Olaf's going to plant it. Kierby inside of the smoke. Tizzy, he doesn't see the feet fast enough. And now everything that's left over for Big is going to have to come in from ramp. There's an auto shotgun on the front. It gets taken down by Tabson. Betrayal on the B bomb site and low HP for two of the remaining three from FaZe. Searson able to connect one off of the off. But can he keep Big in this? He's got himself the smoke. He has himself the kit, but he doesn't have the following kill. 16 rounds to nine. Phase robbing away the map choice of their opponents. We thought this one was done and dusted, but it's about to get a little dustier. Ladies and gentlemen, join us after the break for 